I have to tell you, I don't normally take great pleasure in this type of thing, but I took great pleasure in lunatic Republican Laura Loomer sobbing while claiming that the election was stolen from her by a Republican. We're going to look at the video in a moment. It is really something else. If you're not familiar with Laura Loomer, Laura Loomer was a far right congressional candidate. She was running first and foremost in Florida in a primary against Daniel Webster. OK, she ran a primary against Daniel Webster and she lost the primary. Uh, this is Florida's 11th congressional district. Laura Loomer, 29 years old, complete and total extremist. And um, she lost and she just she just lost. There's there's really nothing else to it. Um, this is a Republican stronghold district. The Republican Party has received at least 65 percent of the vote in the last three elections in 2020. Loomer won a primary in Florida's 21st district, but was then crushed in what is an unfavorable district. If she had won this week, she probably would have won the general because now she was running in a very conservative district. But Daniel Webster won. And there's this incredible video where she is sobbing and saying fraud cost her the win. And I have to tell you that to some degree, I find this absolutely hilarious. We are losing our country because of big tech election interference. And I am pleading with the Republican Party to please start taking this issue seriously, please, because the American people deserve representation. And that's a, that's why I ran for Congress in 2020. It's why I ran for Congress in 2022. And it's why I'm going to keep fighting for all of you. I'm better than I do. Yeah. So she's asking Republicans to stop the voter fraud in a Republican primary in a red district completely run by Republicans. So I guess it's really not Democrats that are doing the voter fraud. And of course, if you actually confront them with that and you say, wait, you guys spent the second half of 2020 arguing that it's Democratic voter fraud that's going to result in the theft of an election. And it was the Democratic machine that stole it from Trump and gave it to Biden. But now they lose a Republican primary and they use the exact same series of talking points. So it's Democrats and Republicans. And then they'll say, yeah, it's the rhino Republicans, the, the, the rhino Republicans, which means Republican in name only. They're not really Republicans. They are just as bad with the voter fraud. So but in 2020, a lot of those rhinos won. But you didn't say there was voter fraud then. No, well, in 2020, it was just the Democrats, but then now it's the Republicans in the primaries. This is absurd. And it is a great thing that Laura Loomer lost. Laura Loomer has promoted mass shooting conspiracies, like, for example, claiming Parkland was staged. The Vegas shooter was ISIS. She claimed a right winger who was arrested for having illegal weapons was actually Antifa. She described herself as a pro white nationalist. So I think you get it. This is an absolutely completely and totally horrible person. And then she put out a statement on some platform saying she doesn't concede and it's crazy. She wrote, I do not concede. And I encourage all of my supporters and all of my voters to not support Daniel Webster and the corrupt establishment RNC and the big tech voter fraud machine that is propping his feeble body up and depriving my constituents of the representation they deserve and need. I'm calling for Daniel Webster to resign because everyone knows he is beyond unfit to serve. Um, you know, I think that's a message I can actually get behind. If Laura Loomer is saying in November in the 11th district, don't go out and vote for Daniel Webster. You it's a mostly Republican district. I'm absolutely fine with them staying home. I would never advocate for people not to vote. I think it, it's not a good thing to tell people don't vote. But if they want to tell their supporters not to vote, I am absolutely all for it. It's hilarious that this is what is going on with Laura Loomer and deservedly so. Not that Daniel Webster is that much better. He's not he's no beauty, right, to use Donald Trump's phraseology. But uh, Loomer would have been extremely dangerous. It is a great thing that she lost. She lost fair and square.